Day everyone, my name is Mr. Chino Sun. In our previous class, we treated area of plane shapes. And we said area is the space occupied by a plane shape or by a flat shape. Now, this is a flat shape. When you look at the shape, it has the shape of a rectangle. It is occupying a space in this wall. So it's already taking part of the area of this wall. So area is the space occupied by a flat shape. And we said area is measured in square units. Square units can be centimeter square, meter square, millimeter square, other form of units. But it must have what square on top, meaning that there are two what units. Centimeter times centimeter, meter times meter, which is what meter square, centimeter square. I will list it some of the plane shapes we have. Number one we said is triangle. Triangle. We know that triangle has what? Three sides. I would say we have other form of triangles. The equilateral triangle, the scalar triangle, the isosceles triangles, right angles, opposite triangle, acute triangle. Now we wait for that to Explain rectangle. A rectangle has two sides. It has a four corner. Wait for that to explain what square, which is number three. Square also has what four sides, and all the four sides are equal. When you look at it, the shape of a square has its four sides equal. Now, trapezium, we said it has a triangle attached to it to form the shape. And they are all well, 2D shape or plane shapes. Now, we have a parallelogram that has well, similar property of rectangle. We've got two sides that are equal also. And it has a four corner well, side. And the last but not least is circle which is round in shape and they are all 2D shape because they are not solid. Now remember that we treated some of these and we, we wrote out the area and you calculate the area of a triangle and you calculate the area of a rectangle and you calculate the area of a square and you calculate the area of a trapezium, the area of a parallelogram and the area of circle. The last class I said what? The area of a triangle is calculated by half times height times base. You all remember this, right? Triangle is calculated using the word formula half times height times base, which is the same as half times h times B and it has its units centimeter square. It can be in meter square, depending on what you are giving. Now the next is rectangle. I will say rectangle. Since two sides are equal, we name it as length times width. Length. Times width, and also we can use centimeter square as its units or meter square. Now the square width is length square, length square, length square. Now to get this, you say what? Length times length. 
which is also as its unit as centimeter square or thereabouts. Now we have the trapezium. The trapezium, you know, has the shape of part of a triangle, which is the half. And we said what well, it has two sides up and down facing each other, which is A and B. And it has what height. So this formula can be used to calculate what the area of a trapezium. Now, parallelogram, we say it looks similar to the word rectangle, which is what length times width. And our square, which is round the shape, it has a constant called pi. And the radius and the square of, that means the radius is what is. It, it comes into it is what it has two words radar which is what we have two radius call it radar you don't call it radius it's called radar so now with this we can calculate the area of any plane shape the area of this is this the area of this is this the area of this is this and likewise the others now let's look at the example exercise we have this. Find the area of the following shapes. Find the area of the following shapes. Now, we have this question number one. Number one said what? What is the area of the circle? Use pi, which is 27 over 7, as an approximation for pi. And radius, 14 centimeters. Now, when you look at that number one, you can draw that by interpreting it. This was a circle. Remember, a radius starts from the center to its circumference. Now, they say the radius is 14. And remember, the area of a circle is calculated using what? Pi r squared. Now, what is pi? Pi is a constant, is given to you in any equation. Pi is 22 all over 7 multiplied by radius, which is what? 14. Remember the square. So, pi times radius, which is the same as what? 22, which is the pi. All over three over seven multiplied by radius square. Now we can also well divide this this way: twenty-two all over seven times fourteen times fourteen. Remember what I said: this as numerator and denominator. We can also do the same here by put one below. Remember, one has no significance to this. It remains the same as 14, 14. Good. Now, let's see what we can do. Now, we can multiply the denominator, multiply the numerator, and later divide. Also, we can also divide in any way before we multiply. To make it simple for you, look up. What is common between numerator and denominator? You will see that 7 can divide any of the number of because they are all in multiplication. If it was division, addition, you can't just mod, divide any. You must divide the 3 at the same time by 7. But since it's multiplication, 7 can divide any numerators of. Since 7 can go in some times table, there is 14. 7 into itself is 1. 7 into 14 is 2. In multiplication table, we only divide only one of the numbers up. But the addition, if you want to divide, you must divide the 3 with 7 before you can go further. Now, what we have left, we have what? We have 22 times 2 times 14 all over 1. 
Now you can multiply all this by what? Multi multiplying the numerator 22 times 2. 22 times 2 is 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 2, 4. Now we have what? 22 times 2 as 44. Now remember we have another number to multiply with, which is 14. Now we have two multiplier. Remember the first one was just one multiplier, but now we have two multipliers, which is what? 1 and 4. So the first multiplier is what? 4. 4 times 4, 16. You take one out, you don't write. 16 because we still have more number to what one more number to multiply. We take down the word, we put down the unit and take out the word tens. Four times four is sixteen plus one seventeen. We are done with four multiplier. We go to what one multiplier. Now one times four is four. Remember you skip here and you write for you. Good. 1 times 4 is 4. Write it down. When you're done with this, you sum it up. Now that we have nothing here, we bring down 6. 7 plus 4. 7 in your brain, 4 in figure. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. You don't write 11. Write your units and take up your tens. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 4, 6. Now, this is what we have when we multiply our numerator. Our answer here is what? 6, 1, 6. Centimeter squared. So, the area of this what? shape is 616 centimeters squared. Now, number 2 is the shape of a parallelogram. A parallelogram, we said it's calculated using what length times breadth or length times width. So you go to this and say what area of a parallelogram is length times width. What is our length? Our length is the longest. So when you check the shape, you know that this is the longest. So it is 8. And our width is the other one, which is 5. So you know what to do. In your multiplication table, you know that 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 5 is 40. It's good that you know your multiplication table. Always recite it so you'll be what? Used to it. So, 8 times 5 is 40. Don't forget your unit, which is centimeter squared. Because it is given in centimeter, so that's why we write in centimeter squared. If it was given in meter, it, your answer will be what? Meter squared. So take note. But since it's in centimeter, it is calculated in centimeter squared as our what? Unit. Now, Going back to this, you can do this yourself by knowing all this formula. Please, you need to uh, memorize this formula and let it be you, into, in you always because you have no other way to calculate this without using this word formula. It is simple if you understand their properties because some of them have a little bit of resemblance like your parallelogram and your word rectangle. They are almost the same. Your triangle and your trapezium are almost the same. With this, I will be giving you more exercises on this. I believe with this, you will be able to what? conquer or solve any word calculation on play shape, area of play shapes. Thank you. See you in the next class. Bye.